Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen classification and functions of carbohydrates. In today's video, we will discuss classification and biomedical importance of monosaccharides. To download lecture notes and other interesting stuff related to biochemistry, please visit website biochemistrybasics.com. Before going in the detail of classification of monosaccharides, first let's see type of the question that can be asked from this particular topic in theory exam. So the long answer question like classify monosaccharides, write a note on biomedical importance of monosaccharides. Monosaccharides, they are basically simple sugar units and they are classified depending on the presence of number of carbon atoms and depending on the presence of functional group. If there is a presence of ido group is present or aldehyde group is present, then they are known as idoses or ido sugar. And if there is a presence of ketone group, then they are known as a ketosis or keto sugar. So this is how monosaccharides are classified. Now we will see various examples of monosaccharides depending upon this classification. So if there is a presence of three carbon unit, then they are known as a triose. An example of idotriose is glyceraldehyde. An example of ketose triose is dihydroxyacetone. If there is a presence of four carbon units, then they are known as a tetrose. And the example of idotetrose is erythrose. An example of ketose tetrose is erythrulose. If there is a presence of five carbon, then they are known as a pentose. An example of idopentose are ribose and xylose. An example of ketose pentose are ribulose and cellulose. If there is a presence of six, six carbon unit, then they are known as a hexose. An example of idohexose are glucose, galactose and menose. And if there is a presence of keto group, then they are known as a ketohexose. An example of ketohexose is fructose. If there is a presence of seven carbon unit, then they are known as a heptose. An example of idoheptose is glucoheptose. An example of ketose heptose is pseudoheptulose. These are the various examples of monosaccharides depending upon number of carbon unit and presence of functional group like idose or keto. This is the picture showing the structure of idoses and ketoses. These are the structure of various idose sugar and this is the structure of various keto sugar. And among all this, glyceraldehyde is the simplest form of carbohydrate. It is also used as a reference carbohydrate to study the structure of other carbohydrates. So that is all about structure. Now we will see biomedical importance of monosaccharides. First, glyceraldehyde. Glyceraldehyde is the example of idotriose and it is present as an intermediate in glycolysis and pentose phosphate pathway in the form of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Second one is the dihydroxyacetone. Dihydroxyacetone is the example of ketotriose and it is also present as an intermediate in the glycolysis in the form of dihydroxyacetone phosphate and it is also required for the synthesis of triacylglycerol. Third one is the erythrose. Erythrose is the example of idotetrose and it is also present as an intermediate in the pentose phosphate pathway in the form of erythrose 4-phosphate. Fourth one is the ribose. Ribose is the example of idopentose and it is seen in the RNA. And it is an important component of the nucleotides and RNA. And it is also present as an intermediate in the pentose phosphate pathway. Another one is the 2-deoxyribose. 2-deoxyribose is again example of idopentose and it is seen in the DNA. And it is an important component of the DNA. Then another example of idopentose is the xylose. Xylose is the important component of the glycoprotein. Example of ketopentose is the xylulose and xylulose is present as an intermediate in the pentose phosphate pathway and the L-xylulose is an intermediate in the uronic acid pathway and the disorder associated with the xylulose is the essential pentosuria. Then example of idohexose is the glucose and it is seen in fruits it is also produced by the hydrolysis of starch, lactose and sucrose. Glucose is the major fuel of energy and it provides about 70% of the energy requirement of the cell and the excess glucose is converted to the glycogen or triacylglycerol 
and the disorder associated with the glucose is the diabetes mellitus which occurs due to the deficiency of insulin and it is characterized by hyperglycemia that is increased level of blood glucose level and another disorder which is associated with the glucose is the hypoglycemia which is the reduction in the blood sugar level. Then another example of aldohexose is the mannose which is seen in the plant mannans and it is a component of the glycoprotein. Another example of aldohexose is the galactose which is an important component of the milk. And this galactose can be converted to the glucose in the liver and the disorder associated with the galactose is the galactosemia. Then example of ketohexose is the fructose. It is seen in the fruits and honey and this fructose can be converted to the glucose in the liver and fructose is present in the semen which provides energy to the sperms. And the disorder associated with the fructose is the essential fructosuria and hereditary fructose intolerance. So that is all about classification of monosaccharides and biomedical importance of monosaccharides. These are the my references. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.